Today we're going to be working on how to save for the web in Photoshop. We have an image here that's already currently open. We're going to save this for the web. So under the menu File, Export, Save for the Web. We have the option here to either go to Original, Optimize 2 Up, and 4 Up. I like to use 4 Up because it allows me to see four different types of images. Actually, make it three. We have the original image in the top left hand corner and then three other ones that we can take a look at. If you'd like to see your image a little bit more, you can go ahead and put your mouse on top of your image and right click it. And here you can just select whatever size you want it to look at. I'm going to go to 33%. In the top right hand corner, I can set my settings here. I can set it as a GIF, JPEG, PNG8, PNG24, and Windows Bitmap. For any images, I like to save it as a JPEG. If I have type in my in my image, I'll probably go ahead and save that as a PNG24. Only time I use a GIF is if I have a very simple logo. So let's go with JPEG. Like everything else, speed is everything. So between two to three seconds, you want your image to download from the server to the to the tablet, to your desktop, to your mobile device. In Photoshop, we can actually change the setup and how fast it can come down. When it says one bits per second, and this is discussing how fast your internet speed is, we can use the typical one or the 1.5 cable T1. In this case, I'm using an image at a setting of JPEG at a very high a quality of 80. In my other two windows, I can also change this format to see to compare the various setups. So here I'm going to go with medium to high and my fourth image to be JPEG medium. If you notice here, my seconds is now for two seconds and the other setting up is three seconds. Now I also want to reduce my file size. 1920 is a bit too big for me right now, so I'm going to just reduce it by 75%. If I zoom in to see the degradation of my images, I can see how bad it is or worse. At the very lowest setting here, I can see actually the band in here. There's a banding right there. And over here, there's no banding, it's a little bit, and then here you don't see it at all. So in theory, I could actually go ahead and use just the high setting or the very high. And even at even at two seconds, this is pretty good, and I'm quite happy with this. So again, I'm going to use JPEG high in this setting. Once you have selected your setting, go ahead and click on save. It will ask you where to save it, and then you're done. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it or share it. And also tell people about it.